Oh, so you are looking for a wide angle lens for your a7c or your sony full frame camera what are you gonna get there are so many options you've got the tamron 17 to 28 you've got the sigma 16 to 28 are those wide enough you also even have the sony 14 millimeter f 1.8 but are all these lenses wide enough what lens do you need to get we're going over that here today what's up guys if you're new here my name is paul and i run a channel that inspires other creators that your future is whatever you make it i do that through gear reviews tutorials and today we're going over my favorite choice for real estate and this is the lens that i use for real estate now I like to say that I figured this all out on my own because I'm such a smart and amazingly cunning man, but well, really, I shadowed my buddy, uh, original Dobo, one day. Unbelievable. I can, I can just... Don't do that. Don't touch me. And I was really going to be looking at shooting with this Tamron 17-28 to because, man, I mean, it's 17 is pretty wide. A lot of people shoot with 18 millimeter lenses because they want it to be wide, but not overly wide. And uh, I thought I could probably get away with it. And in most cases, you might be able to get away with it as well. However, that being said, I wanted the most versatile and best real estate lens that I could use inside homes that I didn't have to continually change in and out lenses. I mean, you have it on a tripod, you're trying to get in and out of the house super fast. So that lens that I end up choosing was, actually, I didn't believe I would ever buy this lens. Be Oh, it's an F4 on the, the Sony 12 to 24 F4. This lens is absolutely amazing. I never thought in the world thought I would ever buy an F4 lens because I like my dang background blur. But when it comes to real estate, you do not want to have any blurriness. You want everything to be in focus. You want everything to be clear and visible. Now, when you're shooting real estate video, that's a little bit different story when you're doing a lot of these like close up, you know, knickknack shots. But when you're doing photography for real estate, this lens is absolutely clutch so i always shoot all my photos at f8 i find this lens is super sharp at f8 everything's in focus and then all i do is i shoot nine bracketed shots on my a7c boom i, I got it i got a little remote control that i use for it and i got a video on that too if you want to know about that this lens is awesome i just put it on my tripod boom and I shoot, this thing is great. Now, this has a built-in lens hood and the element in the front protrudes. The nice thing though is everything is internally zoomed, so it doesn't get any bigger than this, just like the Tamron. When you zoom in and out, it stays where it's at, so you don't have to worry about that. But this thing goes from a whopping 12 millimeters to 24 millimeters, and I gotta say, it's really cool. We'll switch to it now as I finish out the rest of this video so you can see what it looks like. Right now, I'm on the Sony 24mm 1.4. Oh, 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 everything looks a little bit darker. Like, my background, it's the F4, I'm telling you. That's why I, I, I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but you don't have that nice blurry background. You could get away with this lens for a video too. I mean, if you really want like only one wide angle lens, and you know you're gonna be redoing real estate, you might wanna consider this lens, even though it is an F4, because it looks so good. Now, let's show you what that 12 millimeters looks like. Look how crazy wide this is. Like, you can now see my microphone in the shot, a little bit of my softbox in the shot, and I haven't moved at all, but I look like I'm super far away, and you can see my hands when I reach them out, like this, that's just crazy. Like this room looks huge at 12 millimeters. And let me just zoom in a little bit more. Okay. So my philosophy is I want to shoot as not wide as possible so that I don't like fake the room. I want people to look at the photos and see the room 
and then when they see it in person be like wow this is exactly what i thought it would look like based on those photos this is awesome the photos are supposed to give them encouragement to go see the actual house like oh this house looks pretty good let's see what it actually looks like in person and you want the house to be able to speak for itself the problem is a lot of the times in real estate too people shoot so wide oh i got a 12 millimeter lens i want to make this room look huge and you put it on there and then the people get to the house and they're like uh, this room looked way bigger in the pictures than it does now and that's the, the kind of thing I try to stay away from so my th my theory is try to shoot at 18 millimeters or higher unless the space is just super tight you can't get everything into the frame that you want then back it down well, you might be saying hey Paul why then would I waste money on a more expensive 12 to 24 lens if you're trying to tell me that you try to stay within 16 to 18 millimeter range for on the on the wide side well it's because really there's times where this comes in so clutch like if you go into a really small bathroom you can get like the toilet seat and nobody wants to see a toilet seat or you can get the sink but it doesn't show you the whole space so there's times where you just kind of have to pop it into 12 millimeter just so that you can see the entire room or another case scenario could be you're in front of a house and there's a ginormous tree in the middle of the house and you're like i really want that front middle shot what the heck your drone can't get up and get it you fly the drone off to the side but you really want that middle shot well if you have this 12 millimeter lens there's a good chance in some cases not all the time but you could back the camera up right up to that tree pop it into 12 millimeter and you can get that shot so I love that there's crucial moments where the 12 millimeters really just comes in handy and like I said I'm shooting at f8 anyway so why do I need a low aperture lens so I want something that's be sharp which is Sony branded and then can get those wide and you know tight shots for the most part for anything I need for photography and having that 12 to 24 millimeter range is so, so good for real estate. So I can't tell you, I love being able to just like run into a house with one lens and just go, all right, adjust my framing, my focal length, all right, balance it a little bit, hold down the button on my, all right, go on to the next room and so on and so forth. Maybe one day I need to do a video of like walking through a house and my process and what I'm thinking about as I'm taking these shots, but that could be another great video for another day. This video is really about why I believe the 12 to 24 f4 Sony lens is the best real estate photography lens, especially right now that is out. I haven't found anything that's better. Sure, there's like the Sigma 14 to 24, which is a decent lens, and you know it doesn't get as wide, and uh, but you know, and it's still heavy. And so, if I'm gonna, I'd rather stick with the Sony branded item. And, and get that and then I then I have that 12 millimeters to play with in those times where it just is really tight so this this lens is just an all-around beast for real estate and I can't stress it enough how good it is people are like wait why are you gonna get an f4 lens because I'm not shooting at f4 once again I know I said it, I sound like a broken record here I'm not shooting at f4 anyway I'm shooting at f8 and then I shoot bracketed and I get the shot, everything's exposed, I'm carrying a flash, so maybe I need to do a video like that. I know I'm gonna do another video where I go over my entire real estate kit and obviously this lens would be in it. I shoot on the Sony a7C because I just, I, I like it. It's great, a great camera and it's small and it gets it gets very lightweight when I'm going into these places, just go with my trigger and then move on to the next place. This lens has been super, super clutch. It's literally the only lens I bring when I do my real estate photography. This is a one hit wonder lens, super sharp, autofocus works great, nice range, really can't go wrong. That's why this lens is the best lens for real estate photography. You've heard it here. You can hear about all other sorts of things with videos to photography to real estate. I've kind of got my hand in way too much. So you choose which content you like the best. Come back for more and, you know, do all the fun YouTube -y things. And you guys know that I will see you in the future. It's so fun to play with though, really. Seriously. Woo. <laughs> oh, a little bit tighter. Whoop, oh, going out. Whoop, oh, going back in. Whoop, oh, going out. Going back in. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. <laughs> this is just crazy.